tutorial series, we'll be creating image planes. Now, image planes are really just bitmap images that you would find on your computer, and you're importing them as reference images so you can model on top of them in Maya. This makes modeling a great deal easier. So, an image plane is projected from a camera. Now, I'll break this up into four views. We have the side view camera, the front view camera, and the top view camera. So, if I have this side view of a car and I want to import it into our scene, I'd want to import it to the side view camera so it will project the image plane from the side. So, to do that, there are multiple choices you can go. I'll be teaching you the first way, which is go to Window, Outliner, select the side view camera, open the Attributes Editor, go to the Environment tag, go to Image Plane, and then click the Create button. Now this image name attribute is the location of the file on your computer. Click the folder icon to open the file browser and click the image plane you want to load or that coincides with your camera, which in our case it's side bitmap. Now there's another way of loading image planes in Maya to a camera, so we're going to break it back up into four views again. And on the front view we're going to import our front reference image of our car and we're going to go to view image plane import image click front open and it's already created the image plane for us now we're going to go back to the perspective view and reopen the attributes editor if, you're, if you've already noticed the image planes don't line up Maya will not automatically line up the image planes for you so what you'll need to do is go down here and enter the values in man manually yourself because you can't use the scale or rotate tools so to begin with it's basically a higher than or lower than game so we're going to start off with one and I'm going to set it to 15 on both of these width and height values they need to maintain the same value so if this is 15 that that becomes 15 or if that's 17 that's 17 that's basically how that works. And right now that's too small and too tall. So I'm going to set this to 0.5, which means it's only 0.5 units up in the air, and set the width to 16. See if that's any better. Okay, so we need to go a little higher and a little bigger, judging by this. So I'm going to set to 16.5. and we're almost there we just need to raise it up a bit more so I'm going to add another five on the end of this and there you have it the two image planes imported in Maya next part in the series we'll be talking about how to dynamically position those image planes using the move and scale tools with a rig I'll show you how to create thanks for watching this tutorial series